1995 Mustang GT. Um, I acquired it years ago from my brother's ex-brother-in-law. I traded a 1998 Honda Civic, I believe it was, for it. It's uh, had a JDM B16 A2, I believe it was, in it. You know, a little pretty cool little car, fun to drive. Um, he had this and needed something to drive to work as this was blowed up. Uh, it already had a Windsor in it, and it had a 399 that came with it that was broke. So both engines broke, a bunch of pieces. Um, I traded for it and drug it home on a trailer. And my wife, Jess, said that she had to have the car. That I got it to get rid of. I was going to better myself. And she had to have it. So it stuck around. Um, kind of moving into when I got to working on it. I took the 399 that had the broke pistons. Um, and the stock block the stock bottom in Windsor and I made a 393 out of all the parts put it in the car uh, got it running got it ready for her to drive praying that she would go racing and she had no interest uh, she hadn't she never sat in the car from that point until about what two and a half three months ago <laughs> um, so I put a nitrous kit on it and just started street racing it um, ended up burning up a couple pistons in it and it sat for years. Um, fast forward till three, four years ago, um, got the bright idea to put an LS in it. Figure LS turbo, highway gear, she can drive it around, go to the grocery store, hit the highway, go 70 mile an hour, 80 mile, hour, whatever the hell she wants to do with it. Um, so I started on that. I think the engine sat on the stand for two years. Uh, ready I put uh, all the typical stuff you I bought a $200 junkyard 5.3 put uh, LGMS stage 2 turbo cam in it um, the LS9 head gaskets uh, ARP head bolts or studs whatever it was uh, LS7 lifters lifter trays you know, all that stuff um, put it in the car I got an on 3 turbo kit for a Fox body with an LS and then had to make some modifications because I got the 88 millimeter upgrade. Um, got it all in. I'm probably the only person in the world for a couple years there couldn't get an LS to run. So finally got it running. Uh, the neighbor come over, he heard I was having problems a few years later. Um, he come back around there and helped me get it running. So I thank Caleb for that. <laughs> Otherwise, it probably still wouldn't run. Uh, had a stock ECU and, and wiring harness. Um, he talked me into going with a Holly Terminator X. So that's what's on it now. Um, and she has ridden in it around the corner about three minutes. And it worked out pretty good. Uh, it's really hard to steer. I just got a power steering pump bracket from CIA Performance. And I gotta get the power steering hooked up on it and then I'm gonna put power brakes back on it. At some point, this was uh, somebody's race car. They turned into a race car and I'm trying to turn it back into a street car. So most of the interior, uh, I, it's just on and on and on, nonstop working, trying to get it turned back over. Um, it's getting close to being ready. It's a fun ass car for me to drive, but she still hasn't driven it yet. Um, at some point it will happen. I've, I've still got to get, it's got a power glide in it right now. And I'm gonna put a 4L80 in it for her. So it's a lot easier for her to just hop in and do what she wants to do with it. Right now we're on 15 pounds of boost and it runs pretty well. Like I'm, I'm impressed with the way it runs on 93 pump gas. So, we'll see how it goes. Did you say you broke it? I don't think so. 